Madam Speaker. You got to know better. This is what happens when y'all get a little too comfortable. Nancy Pelosi was taking knees earlier this year, rocking the kente cloth. She felt like she was down by law. She felt like she had the cookout pass. And when you do that, you start talking too much. You start doing what the preachers do, what the civil rights leaders do, and you start using their language and co-opting their language and sounding like they sound, but you never know who's out of place until they do a certain thing. And then you realize they don't fit. And her saying that was one of the most uh, egregious, subtly egregious things you could do. Because while she didn't mean any harm and she was just trying to show love and, and shout out the, the Floyd family and the memory of George Floyd like the, white, like the black folk did, the difference is her comments reveal a certain kind of normalization and acceptance that black folk have to be the martyrs for American justice, that we have to die for this nation to get freer and more democratic, that the laws will be written in ink or co-signed in ink, but written in our blood. This is the idea that underwrites that thank you, George Floyd, for sacrificing your life for justice. That's not justice. Justice is him being alive. Justice is his family having him, not us celebrating the incarceration of Derek Chauvin. That's provisional justice at best.